Hey everyone, my name is Andrea and welcome back for another Breaking Bad reaction. Last uh, time you saw me, I reacted to Breaking Bad episode 2, uh, season 3, and it is getting very intense. Well, I mean, this show just keeps keeps the tension throughout. It's amazing. There are some new characters and some new directions this season. There are the two twins or cousins or brothers that are in the cartel. They broke into Walter's house right after Walt had broken into his own house, ironically. But at the last minute, Mike had called Gus and Gus had called the the twins or brothers or whatever and told them to i guess to lay off skylar is being very difficult as usual with walt and jesse bought his parents house he he and saul combined to lowball his parents so um, i don't know how to feel about that on the one hand jesse got back at his parents for kicking him out of both of their houses on the um on the other hand i was kind of shipping jesse and his parents i was kind of hoping they would reconnect but it doesn't look that way anyways no more chatter let's get right to it before we do that if you are enjoying the content smash that like button subscribe to the channel we also have a patreon where you can catch all of our full unedited reactions well in advance of the youtube upload so I want to find out more about the relationship between Mike and Gus and Saul and the cartel I hope we find that out hay dos clases de hombres en este mundo los que toman y los que sirven oh she's te llena mi copa wow this guy's a bit of a jerk pueden aprender algo oye jefe qué onda sabía que tú estarías aquí no tienes que entregar algo tortuga comienza despacio pero siempre la tortuga is no longer sabes me encanta cómo hablas tortuga so this must be a flashback. Hasta este pueblo culo de burro. Para darte un regalo. Regalo. Lo tengo ahí atrás. I wonder what his present is. I'm afraid to ask. Oh! Oh! Is this oh. where he loses his head? Me encanta, Eve. Te la voy a dedicar. Firmo. Oh. Filósofo. Oh, that's cute. Someone's behind him. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. These guys. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, that that opened with a bang. Holy. Oof. Okay. Um so these guys definitely confirm my suspicion that they're members of the cartel and they found out that Tortuga was uh not so loyal. Oh no, Walt, you don't need to be getting that down. That's not your job. He's still breathing. By the looks of him, he has no idea how close he came. I'm assuming Saul Goodman doesn't need to know. Don't you? Mom's the word. Aren't you supposed to report to Saul? I'm assuming Mike works for Saul. I should let Skylar, should have let Skylar do it herself or hire somebody. And she's probably, she's probably going to yell at Walt for being there. Well, no, he cleaned the pizza. God. She should have done it herself. Hello? Walt, are you in the house? Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Walt, you're not back. Get, get, get out of there. It's my house too, Skylar. No. Oh, wow. Walt stood up for himself. Good job. I am not coming in there until you get out. Well, she can stand out there all day then. Suit yourself. <laughs> She's going to call her lawyer now. What is wrong with you? If you don't get out of here right now, I'm going to call the police and I'm going to tell them everything. I doubt she will. S Saul is right, I think. He's calling her bluff. Oh my god. He's still calling your bluff, Skylar. Yes, I, um, I want to report a disturbance, please. It's him. Um... Skylar's shaking so bad. Oh my god. You? That's kind of vague. They're going to think it's abuse or something. Do what you have to do, Skylar. This family is everything to me. My. 
soon-to-be ex-husband broke into my house. I need an officer to come and remove him. They're coming. Skylar, they're not going to get there right away. Dad's here? Dad! Are you, <laughs> are, are you back? For good? Why are you home so soon? I, I'm not. <laughs> Skylar can't even keep track of the time. Walter, your, your dad and I have something we need to discuss. Can't, can't wait. I haven't seen dad in like forever. Uh, you lose Skylar. Wow, Skylar's... When Skylar doesn't get her way, she gets ugly. <laughs> <laughs> How is he going to explain this to Walt Jr.? Your crazy mother called the police. And we were called about a disturbance. You, you called the cops on dad? <laughs> I love this kid. I, I want him out. I, I, I want him out of the house. Did he strike you? No. Has he ever hit you? No, this is not about violence. This is about trespassing. I, I changed the locks. Isn't that breaking and entering? Whose name is on the title to the house? <laughs> of us, it's owned. We can't arrest a man for breaking into his own house. <laughs> I got her, honey. Oh, oh. <laughs> sucks to be Skylar. Officer, where were we? Disagreement. Oh God! Wow, <laughs> that's definitely resting bitch face. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you, ma'am. If you want your husband out of the house, you're gonna have to help me out. Is it possible maybe he's broken any laws that you know of? Oh. Even if you just got a suspicion of wrongdoing, I can work with. What's your take on all this? It, it's she's my not gonna spill. Fault. I don't know why she's being this way. My dad, he is a great guy. There's no legal basis for us to remove your husband from the house. That's lucky, you folks. <laughs> Thank you, officers. We're sorry. Wow, Skylar took the L hard. Wow. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> she said that before. And with the same amount of coldness. Although I don't know why Walt would want to be around her. I mean, I understand he wants to be with his kids. He lives! Happy housewarming, kid. A cactus? <laughs> uh, interesting decor. It's uh, subtle. <laughs> it's invisible. <laughs> Remember the other day when I brought up the idea of you getting back in touch with your partner? I'm not suggesting that you yourself get back to cooking. I only want you to convince the master chef to do his thing. I mean, are you going to call him? I said I'll handle it. Now bounce, will you? <laughs> Good for you, Jesse. <laughs> call him. Well, I guess uh, Saul really misses Walt's business. Yeah, Jesse, uh, Jesse's got the same decor he has in his old apartment. Exact same furniture. Aww. Mercury called in a couple of favors. El Paso wants me back. Mm. Why would he want to go back there, though? They were all rude to him. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a promotion. It's more money. But at the same time, all the um, all the guys that spoke Mexican were rude to him. Aww. Oh, they're going to hurt an old lady? Aww. Okay, so they want her van. They wanted her, um, I guess, her accommodation-friendly van for Hector, maybe? Mm hmm Okay, I don't know who this guy is. This was the guy in the intro. Okay, so we're gonna have a meeting here of all the cartel members and Gus. Señores, bienvenidos. Por favor, pasen. Siento que no sé o es así de Asia. Okay, they're just going to carry him up. I guess that works. Por supuesto, debimos avisarte territorio y tenías el derecho de bendecir la orden. No había razón por creer que era pendiente tuyo. Pues sí, me importa. Entonces estás trabajando con este Heisenberg. Siempre hizo negocios con ciertos proveedores. Nunca... Mira, don Salamanca tenía un sobrino que se llamaba Tuco. Era el mero mero al norte de la frontera. 
fue leal. Walter White, uno de los proveedores locales de Tuco, le traicionó a Tuco. La sangre se paga sangre. Uf. Los primos de Tuco tienen derecho a vengarse. Siento su pérdida profundamente. No tengo ningún no problema su de esas. Presentamente estoy involucrado a este señor. But he turned down your offer, Gus. Lo se terminé. No me importara lo que hagan con él. Uf. Lo necesito vivir. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hector objects. Yo no te digo ir tus pollos, Gustavo. ¿Acaso? No, me... mi propio territorio. Claro que sí. Les aconsejaré que tengan paciencia, pero te recomiendo que termines con este hombre rápidamente. O riesgas perder el apoyo del cartel. Uf. Eso sería imprudente. <laughs> trying to eavesdrop. Oh, he's still missing Jane. I feel like Jesse's going to fall off the wagon here. Do not call Liz. I mean, he's turned his life around. He has a house. Well, he cheated his parents out of a house. I mean, he's Jesse's got good things going, but I feel like he's going to fall off the wagon here. Oof, that does not look comfortable, Walt. <laughs> wow, you're pushing your luck, Walt. She doesn't want you anywhere near her. Skylar, can I use the bathroom? Don't you have other bathrooms? It's hard to believe they only would have one bathroom. Oh my god, okay. Oof. What do you mean? Against your will? Yes. He, he showed right back up. He, he doesn't want a divorce. Don't even consider it. I, I called the police on him. It was so close. Skylar, I can't advise you properly if you don't give me all the facts. You can't tell a soul unless you authorize me to. Even if it's something illegal. Especially if it's illegal. Mm -hmm. I think there's limits on that. I think if somebody's life is in danger, the confidentiality thing goes out the window. My husband makes meth. Oh, I would not have told her that. They, they call them cooks. Sue your husband for divorce immediately. You go to the police and tell them what you just told me. If he comes anywhere near you and your children, he'll go straight to jail. It's the best thing for you and your family. I can't. I can't do it. I don't want my to find out that his father is a criminal. Drug dealers have a way of getting caught. Well, He's a cook, not a dealer. But the doctors, they all say that sooner or later, resolve themselves on their own. Okay, well, I admire Skylar for not spilling the beans to the police. Max, this is the kind of place you get at night. It's <laughs> chilly. All right, all right, jeez. You want to spice things up a little bit, huh? It's not like there's nothing going on up here. Hey, Jack going on up here. It's quiet as hell. Hmm. Except for the blue meth dealer. Except for Heisenberg. Hank's up to something. I think part of the reason he doesn't want to go back is because of the panic attack he had there that with um, what happened with Tortuga and the bomb going off. I think he's worried about something like that happening again. Go over there. Take it home. Man, in this place, the bartender's probably holding. <laughs> what you doing? Call an APD, what do you think? Since when can't we handle a couple of dirt balls? Let's go. It's your turn to pay. Hank's gonna take matters into his own hands. What is he I'm doing? <laughs> well, that's his third bathroom visit in a few minutes. Oh! Oh! Hey, what the hell? I get the feeling fights are pretty common in that place. DA! What the hell, Hank? Wow, what got into Hank? That's crazy. Did Jesse get himself a mattress? Looks like a sleeping bag. Hey, if you're trying to sell me something I've got for you, do not call. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Poor Jesse. The number you have reached one four zero five zero five is no longer. Hmm. So in two seconds, her line got disconnected? That's weird. 
Like he just, he called them, literally called the minute her line gets disconnected. He must be calling her like literally every minute. And wow. He's going to try to do it himself. I feel sorry for this baby. At some point, she's going to be caught, caught in the crosshairs, so to speak. <laughs> wow, she really wants to avoid seeing Walt. Oh! Skylar, can we talk? Oh, Hank did get a bit of collateral damage there with that shiner. We're hanging back, saw a deal go down. You stayed to keep an eye on the suspect. That's when they attacked you. It's not quite how it went down. What I didn't tell them, that you left your gun under the seat before you went back inside. Ooh. I did it for us. Oh. That is college tuition for Walter Jr. That is health insurance for you and the kids. It's money for groceries and gas for birthdays and graduation parties. Skyler, that money is for this roof over your head. This money. I didn't steal it. I earned it. Illegally. That's what Skyler's going to say. All that I've done, all the sacrifices that I have made for this family will be for nothing if you don't accept what I've earned. Wow, that puts Skylar on the spot. He's asking her to compromise her morals. Wow. Everybody in Skylar's life is breaking the law. Definitely puts her morality to the test. Oh, she's going to lecture him. He's going to get an earful here. What? Okay, wow. Oh my god, Skylar. Wow. <laughs> Dad's like, what? Hey, do you have a coffee? <laughs> I love how they went back to looking normal there. Are your kids home? Oh! Wow, so the thing she accused Walt of doing initially, she's doing. Because, I mean, they're not even legally separated yet. So technically that is infidelity. So much for Skylar being so moral. So much for your morality there, Skylar. Look, I just want to say that I... I feel good about our talk this morning, and I'm very eager to hear what you're thinking about, about what we talked about. You know, whenever you're ready, then, of course. Honesty is good oh honesty <laughs> oh my gosh so much irony here honesty is she gonna blurt out that she slept with ted speaking of honesty she's just gonna stare him down the whole time i fucked ted <laughs> oh! <laughs> there's honesty for you skylar oh my god <laughs> oh my god Lewis? Uh, yes, please. All right, so eat your salad, okay? Good. Well, I guess Walt's appetite is ruined. Okay, wow. These go so quick. These shows are only, I guess, 45, 50 minutes, but they seem, they honestly seem a lot longer than that because there's just so much going on. There's no, no wasted uh, dialogue, no wasted scenes. Everything is so carefully crafted and put together. You, I just get so caught up and it's like, oh, it's over. So let's start with speaking about honesty. So... It, Walt, who has lied throughout the whole show, brings up honesty, and then Skylar gives him honesty, obviously more than he wants. And Skylar, who has been, you know, the a moral saint uh, throughout the whole show, has now um, it has now, I guess, broken that, so to speak, by sleeping with Ted. And um, Jesse, it looks like, is in really rough shape in terms of um, struggling to get over Jane. I'm really worried he's going to fall off the wagon. It looks like he was setting up his equipment again. So I'm guessing he has or will be falling off the wagon. Um, it looks like he's doing it alone, though. So Captain Cook is back, so to speak. 
and um, we found out a little bit more about uh, Gus and his relationship with the cartel. It looks like they have some sort of deal. They're not obviously on the same page or the same team or the same side, but it looks like Walt, it looks like the cartel has allowed Walt to do some business with him. I'm not exactly sure how it works in that industry, but they and Walt, the cartel and Walt have a deal. Um, and the Walt is, I guess, asking the, the cartel to leave, to leave Walt alone. Sorry, I said Gus and the cartel have a deal and Gus is asking the cartel to leave Walt alone, at least for the time being. So it looks like once the contract between Gus and Walt is over, I think it was three months, although Walt never agreed, so I'm not sure what's happening. But anyway, if that contract does happen, and I think it will, once that's over, it looks like the Gus has just basically told the cartel to do whatever they want with Walt. So I'm getting really nervous. And finally, the final thing I'm going to talk about is Hank. It looks like something weird is up with Hank. I'm wondering if he acted out in that bar because he doesn't want to go back to, I think it was old El Paso because of you know what happened there and he still has post-traumatic stress disorder from that bomb going off so it looks like hank acted out so that he wouldn't be um promoted no correct me if i'm wrong he could have different motivations but no spoilers please uh so i think that pretty much wraps it up for that show i've it's 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 been an absolute blast so far and i can't wait to see you guys in the next episode